The United States Agency for International Development teams up with the Benue state government in efforts to promote peace and reconciliation between farmers and herdsmen. The UN's goal to stop female circumcision globally by 2030 is met with more challenge as millions of girls are expected to undergo FGM in the weeks to come. In South Sudan, wrestling creates a platform for peace and friendly competition as the nation heals from a Hello and welcome to Africa 54. I'm Chamberlain who saw Channel Television here in Lagos. I'm joined by Vincent McCory at Voice of America in Washington. Well, thanks a lot. I'm Vincent McCory at our global headquarters in Washington, D.C. Happy to be with you for another edition of Africa 54. Let's start off with a look at the Benue State and Peaceful Negotiations and Bridge Settlement. Chamberlain Uso in Lagos brings you that story. Indeed, the United States Agency for International Development is partnering with the Benue state governments to promote peace and reconciliation in communities affected by the farmers herders conflict. Through a community-based approach, the authorities are engaging communities and youth leaders on non-violent peaceful negotiations. The initiative is part of efforts aimed at preventing further violence in affected communities. Channel's television correspondent, Pius Angbo, compiled the report. These are victims of herdsmen attacks on January the 1st, 2018, stranded at the Daudu IDP camp, two years after the displacements from the ancestral land. For them, living in life-threatening conditions like this, an urgent need to return home. The United States Agency for International Development and the Mercy Corps have intervened to ensure peace and a non-violent transition. One of the resource persons explains in the popular Nigerian pidgin language what must happen for a shared understanding between the farmers and herders. The organizers speak on the aim of the community-based peace model and what the role of the participants in the communities should be in an effort to stop the clashes between the farmers and herders. This training is on interest-based negotiation and mediation. And uh, the essence of this training is to equip these community leaders with the skills and the tools to go back to their community and engage with the opposing parties that they have been in conflict with for so long in a different way. It is a five years USID funded project. We are going to be here working in Benue for the next five years and we believe so strongly by the end of the project we will be able to reduce the violence. To the participants who is the kindred head of Kendev asked that herdsmen be included in the community-based non-violent negotiations to bridge the gap. If this type of uh, workshop should be organized for the Fulanese, because the community, now that we have learned from this, we will be able to extend the sensibility to our community. Although communities in Benue State are relatively peace now, the yearnings of displaced persons to safely return to their villages mount. A challenge many believe must be confronted by the concerned parties.